Next, let's go over some stuff about thumbnails and doing the study for your project. So let's say I like this book called Infinite Jest. The basic idea of the book is that the beginning and end, they kind of loop around in an infinite way. So one of the central images could be the infinite symbol, but that's kind of a cheesy and cliche idea. So maybe we can take that idea and, and do something else with it. So I know that my book cover is going to be, is going to have a spine and it's going to be fairly large. Maybe I can loop things with the text. Maybe I can start to write um, infinite jest from the front and continue it around on the back. So I can start here. and I can loop the text around the book itself. That way the book kind of creates some unity. I can do that with large lettering like that. I could do it, and remember this, this is gonna be the front, this is gonna be the back. I can do it a little bit differently while using a very similar idea. I can start here with a very large I Make the letters very thin. And I can create a very different feel while using the same idea. I could also make the text really small and I could repeat it around many, many times. So I could write, um, you know, start over on the, and I could even start on the back, writing infinite jest over and over. And so on and on and on and on. And that could be my entire cover design is just the same thing repeated. Um, let's see. Other ways to create this sort of sense of looping. I mean, I could go with the infinity sign and I could start it over here, right? I could make it cross and I could finish over on the other side. That is a possibility. Could kind of give it some some depth and some thickness. Um, and so you have to remember that when you do a sketch for a book or something like this, the front's going to be on the right and the back is going to be on the left because of the way the jacket is going to fold around. The other thing too is a lot of fans of the book. Um, abbreviated IJ. So the entirety of the front cover could be a really large I and the back cover could be a J. And I mean, I could write it like that. And that could be another cover option. So what you want to do with your thumbnails is kind of exhaust as many ideas as possible and then pick whatever you think is the, is the best and continue on with that. Um, the other idea is I could give the book a horizon line and a vanishing point and I could use perspective to write infinite jest. As if the letters are disappearing into infinity.
so I could change it and make it kind of give it kind of a more landscape type feel. So whatever your idea is and whatever your book is, um, you're going to have to sort of create a bunch of different varieties and you should come up with at least 10. 20 is good, um, but 10 is a good minimum 